Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's the 16th of June, 2014, and this is your video blog of the day. And um, I'm going to help you to get rid of a false idea that is actually making you weaker, smaller, and more pathetic. And I'll give you the proper idea behind it, which will make you very, very strong. Shh, hold on a sec. All right, here it is. Now, this is something that I fell into in the past, and um, to some degree, and it's no longer part of my thinking process, so I want to share it with you so that you can also feel the, uh, the freedom that I feel from the bullshit thought. And here's how it goes, okay? Let me give you a bunch of examples of it. I touched on this before, but I'm going to tell you more specifically because I see it coming up. So one of the things is, for example, I'm Persian, okay? I'm Persian. And there's a sense of pride in that for me, in that, or there was, um, in that the Persian Empire, right? And sometimes people um, um, compare me to Xerxes, the king, you know, the movie 300 came out. And there's a lot of, like, prestige with that. And the Persian poetry and uh, my grandpa, you know, I would use that many times before my past. My grandpa was one of the greatest poets of my country um, during his time. Okay, got that. There's that. There's that. Now, sounds cool. Sounds cool. But in reality, it's not. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the fact that I'm Persian, and the fact that there was a big fucking Persian empire that was incredible and all that shit, and the fact that my grandpa was a great poet, and we had great wrestling, and you know, all these great things in my country, I can take pride in that as if I did that. But the reality of it is, I'm here, and I had nothing to do with that shit. If you believe in past lives, and maybe I did have something to do with it in past lives, well, I can handle that for you, too. Because if that was my past life, that's great. I'm concerned with my present life. If really I was as great as I was in my previous life, then what the fuck is taking so long to get going now? You can't sit and, I used to be this. I, I don't give a fuck what you were. And I don't give a fuck what your nationality is. I'm Egyptian. We built the pyramids. You didn't build shit. You did not build shit. Okay? And if you want to get back into, well, I was the one that built the pyramids. I was a great king. Maybe you were, and now you're not. So what happened to you? What happened to you? You see, what happens is we stick to these um, concepts of we belong to this thing, but, but what is our actual present time contribution? That's what we need to judge people by. Now, this is the same thing that happens when people are on the opposite side of the scale, are embarrassed of something. Like they try to, let's say somebody in your family does something stupid and you don't want to tell people about it. Why? That has no reflection on you. If my family does something stupid, let's say my sister does something dumb or my dad or my mom or uncles or aunts, that's them. That's not me. You see what happens is we start to bunch things up like this. And when you bunch things up like this and you put them into one little clump, then you get the same idea as this. All black people are this. All white people are this. All orientals are this. All Middle Easterns are this. And that's the same thought process. Look at it again. Look at it again. Because if you're going to say, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm Persian, so I come from kings, so treat me like a king. No, well, I'm not going to. I could care less. I personally at this moment could give a shit where I came from. It doesn't matter. I could be any fucking color. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about that. I care about what I'm doing right now. What are my products right now? What have I contributed and created while I've been alive right now? Based on that, forget who my mom is, forget who my dad is, forget who my family is, forget who my grandpa is, forget who the fuck I was in a previous life. Judge as it is now. Now, when you start to do this, it'll start to bring your attention to present time. And you go, okay, you can't, you can't ride off the tailcoat of anything, the tailcoat of anything anymore. This is the same mentality that gets people right now. There's soccer uh, playing, right? And it's cool that there's different countries. I kind of like that. Uh, watching it but at the same time the way people act when their team plays is like we did you didn't do anything you don't belong to the team just because you're cheering for them 
You can't claim their accomplishments. You can't. And this is the problem of, or one of the major problems that we face right now in our society, because it makes people stupid. People are taking pride in things they have not done anything about themselves. You, just because you wear the t-shirt and go over there and cheer them on, are not, you are not, you are not contributing to that game being won. Or if you cheer louder, that's bullshit. That is just some bullshit. And it's the same thing that goes into black and white and oriental and any other fucking race. And we normally see the negative, but we don't see the positive side of the same thing. So if you're sitting there going, well, you know, you know, my ancestors were pharaohs or my ancestors were this or, you know, we built this country. We don't give a fuck what your ancestors did. We want to know what you're doing. Do you get that? Do you get that if you just, if you see what I'm seeing, then you can cut that bullshit and be more specific and more clear in your thinking and what you're seeing and what you're doing. You have to judge people based on what they're doing. I said this before in regards to IMC Nation, right? A lot of people watching this, you know what IMC Nation is. That doesn't protect you. That doesn't make you cool. It's what you do. It's your individual. It's your individual accomplishments. You accomplish, then you hashtag IMC Nation. We're proud of you. Other than that, no, 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 no. No. The people that work for me, they know this the best. You, you are going to be judged according to your own achievements, to your own contribution, to your own energy, to your own output, to your own effort, your own products. I don't care who your family was. I don't care any about that shit. That's the problem. The problem is that we bought that. So on one point, we start to, to rail against racism. It's bad. It's wrong. And the other hand, we're doing it ourselves by saying, well, you know, I'm Persian. Am I, I'm proud of my country. Why? What the fuck are you proud of? You could be proud of the ideas that you hold in your mind and your actions. And if your country holds those ideas, that's great. But you, you cannot be proud of a thing that doesn't exist. It's like, I'm proud of my family. Every one of them, you know, some of them are complete idiots. I protect my family no matter what. Why? Why? Why would you? Why would you? Protect a complete moron, an idiot, someone who's destroying your life. Why would you do that? Because it has the, the word family on it? Because you have to just get the fuck out of here. And that's the problem. The problem is if you sat there and you analyzed these ideas and you looked at it, you would go, wow, what the fuck am I doing? And then you would realize why half, you know, more than half, and the majority of the population are, are being miserable in their lives. Because they bought that bullshit. People want to take down from something that they've contributed nothing to. If somebody from uh, IMC starts writing things on, on their Facebook, you know, oh, we this, IMC, Team IMC, I look to see what the fuck they are. You know, if you're a fucking instructor and you're contributing every fucking day to the name IMC growing, congratulations. You have something to say. Why? Because you did something. You did something. Your actions, your product, your contribution is making it happen. So that's what I want you to do. First, you have to give it up in your own mind. Many times I'm asked, Avash, were you so-and-so in a previous life? Were you so-and-so? And I used to, uh, back in time, take some pride in that. I just don't, and I don't want to talk about it. I just don't want to talk about it. Because it's completely irrelevant who I've been. It really is totally irrelevant who I've been. If I was the worst thing in the world, well, I am a great thing right now. And if I was the greatest thing in the world, well, I'm a great thing right now. I am what I am right now. That's it. So start to look at the world like that and stop giving validation to races and, and countries and things like that and start validating the people. Who are, you, who are you dealing with? Who is the person you're dealing with? They, they don't have a protection or, or the prejudice of a race or a group because the both is true, right? The greatest people have been of all kinds of colors, shapes, sizes, creeds. You know what I mean? And because we have to judge the individual. We can't put the individual in a group and be like, because the group is that. Then the, you, the group is never anything. The group is never anything. It's always the individual. It's always the individual. All black people are, are doesn't exist. All gay people doesn't exist. All white people doesn't exist. Each individual person exists. And you got to open your eyes to that. And first thing you got to do is cut it out of your life so that you're not walking around sitting on some shit you never did. I don't care what your ancestors did. I don't care who your dad was. I don't care who your mom was. I care who the fuck you are. And you need to do the same thing. IMC Nation, peace.